iOS 16 has brought collections, which allows people to customize their iPhone a lot now. So in this video, I'll tell you what collections are, how you can add more, learn how to apply focus, and most importantly, how to customize your iPhone and make it truly yours. So if you want to customize your iPhone, buckle up because you'll get a lot of value out of this video. All right, so what are collections? Well, take collections as watch faces on the Apple Watch. On the Apple Watch, we have fancy watch faces. We have more fun watch faces. And now on iOS 16, you can have multiple lock screen, which is awesome. So how do you access them? Well, same as on the Apple Watch, you simply hold on your lock screen. And from there, you'll swipe to see all of your different collections. All right, so now swipe all the way to the right and you'll see at new. Let's tap on the plus and from there, you'll see a bunch of different collections. So from emojis to photos, to astronomy, to color, to the weather, there's a bunch of them. Now, before I show you my favorites, let me show you how you can customize the lock screen. So you're gonna want to press on tap on customize on the bottom and from there, everything will be customizable. Let's tap on the time, for example. You can change the typography to make it serif, sans serif, round or not round. And on the bottom, you'll also be able to change the color. If you change the color, you'll actually be changing all the UI elements, which is pretty cool. So if you wanna theme your iPhone yellow, you can actually do that. If the color that you want, if the exact color that you want is not there, here's a tiny trick. Swipe all the way to the right and you'll see like a multicolor icon tap on that and there you'll be able to find the exact color you want. You're welcome. We now get two rows of widgets. On the top one, for example, you can add your calendar, your activity status, or whatever you want. I personally like to keep mine on the dates, like this, I can quickly glance to see what day it is. And I also put the boring dates on the top because on the bottom, there is so much stuff to put. I love having my activity rings, my California time, since I remotely work on people that live in California, so I can quickly glance on my watch or on my iPhone now to see what time it is over there. I also have my upcoming calendar event. Now, that's what the default wallpaper can do. Now. The photo shuffle wallpaper is very interesting as well. It basically lets you shuffle through your photos so you can choose between pets, nature, urban, or all of them all at once. You've also got an option to customize the shuffle frequency from an on tap to wake to hourly or to daily. And on photo shuffle, you can also swipe to the right and you can choose between color or black and white. Now the astronomy wallpaper or lock screen is awesome. So if you basically swipe up and go on your lock screen, you actually get this sick animation. I mean, just look at it. It is absolutely beautiful. You can swipe and you can choose between the earth, the moon, or the solar system. And all of them have these really, really sick animations. I'm just constantly doing this all day now. This one's my favorite. Let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite. Now let's talk about the emoji one because this one is truly customizable and you can make a wallpaper out of literally anything. I personally made the one week later. The be happy wallpaper. I basically put some lemons and some yellow hearts. You can do whatever you want. So how do you customize it? Well, just tap on customize. And from there, you can swipe to go from small grid, medium grid, large grid, rings, or spiral. So there's so many different configurations, which is pretty cool. On the bottom left, you'll see that emoji icon, tap on that and you can actually put whatever emoji you want to put on the wallpaper and it's as easy as that. And then on the bottom right, you'll see the background color. So you can choose whatever color you want or the intensity that you want on the bottom as well. If you guys want my exact wallpaper, I basically just did yellow hearts and lemons and use the spiral effect and then just simply selected a yellow color. So do that and send me them on Instagram. I wanna see you rocking the be happy wallpaper, okay? All right, so those are all the most important themes that you can get right now on your iPhone. Now let me tell you about how powerful focus can be built into collection. iOS 15 brought focus, which basically lets you have different focus modes. For example, I've got my work focus, which basically will only show me work apps on my home screen. Only work people can call me or text me and everything will be on do not disturb, which is very powerful. And now with iOS 16, you can actually customize a lock screen to a specific focus. So for example, I've got this date night focus, which will basically not notify me of any social media like this. I, when I go out with Chenya, whenever I go out in a restaurant, I literally turn this on, the wallpaper of Chenya pops up 
and nobody will be able to bug me or you know destroy my date night. You gotta have a nice date night once in a while, right? So here's a good example. You can do this for work and you can put your work wallpaper on. You can have a more corporate wallpaper on. And then once you swipe, you'll only have work related apps. So, you know, it's very powerful. It depends on what you wanna do with it. It can be very, very useful. I love the fact that we can finally customize our iPhone same way that we can customize our Apple Watch. And I love the way that the iPhone is heading. So thanks for watching, be happy because life is good. Subscribe for more iOS 16 content and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.